ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆತ್ಮ ಸದಾನಂದಜಿ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸರ್ವಪ್ರಿಯಾನಂದಜಿ ಅದರ್ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜೀಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಕೊಲೀಗ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ವೈಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಎ ಫ್ಯೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಗೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ವೆಲ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಐ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಮಚ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ಎನಿ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಎ ಫ್ಯೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಸೊ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ರೀಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋ ದಿ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ he strives the whole life to be happy also he wanted the happiness to be permanent long lasting whatever it may mean to him thus the topic is very important not only to spiritually inclined people but also for common man to my understanding swami vivekananda contributed a lot in bringing vedantic principles Uh, to the realm of common man by explaining them in simple and commonly understood language my interest in vivekananda started at very early stage of my life from school days i was aware that the construction of uh, vivekananda rock memorial at kanyakumari started in the year 1963 on uh, vivekananda's uh, centenary celebration time by efforts of uh, shri eknath ranade ji on the advice of uh, guruji gorwakar this is what uh, my understanding in that stage in school days after the completion of the memorial the work on vivekananda kendra began in the year 1970 as a pre degree student in 1973 pre degree means 11th and 12th in, in those days i could also contribute in the form of some coupons so th- those days uh, two rupees coupon used to be sold in schools to collect money so two rupees per head if it is uh, uh, those days i think around 50 crore people if everybody contribute to so it's a huge amount and uh, i still preserve those coupons as a souvenir i could find out from my old diary this two coupons which i contributed 4 rupees and they don't want more than 2 rupees actually i uh, don't know how, how i don't remember how i got this two coupons they were only one coupon so that uh, nobody should uh, uh, make it a uh, burden so those days 2 rupees a big amount uh, you can go two or three days to college from uh, traveling about 20 kilometers for 2 rupees so anyway so i have not read the vedanta per se though heard many discourses in which the speakers elucidated vedantic principles however i remember an incident occurring occurred during my again college days i generally used to take books from library to read during my 45 minutes bus journey from my village to the college kasaragod government college the books are usually of poems or philosophy in nature because generally i don't get much time to read if i take a novel i have to complete it so if i take any philosophy related book any page i can read i can get something out of it same thing was the case for poetry so i was interested in poetry those days well sometimes now also the reason okay i have already written the reason for it was that i need not have to finish reading them in one or two weeks it was on such occasion that i asked for a book on vivekananda the librarian his name was uh, mr manikam he immediately got me the first volume of complete works of vivekananda although i did not read it completely i took some of the later volumes also and re- read here and there in any case my conditions at home were not conducive for sitting long time and read books naturally of course uh, due to many reasons even uh, electricity is not there even uh, time is not there many factors i found that in his addresses vivekananda spoke nothing but vedanta in simple terms and brought home its significant to day to day life 
on another occasion i went to library and just stood in front of the table for asking for books so manikam did not uh, ask which book you want he directly went to the shelf brought me a book i read it sarva vedanta siddhanta sara sangraham by shankara i well, i did not know what it is by meaning was understood because uh, we use in malayalam this uh, sanskrit word sarva vedanta siddhanta sara sangraham this is the case with uh, many of the indian languages i was happy to see the book looks very new not many touched the book i went started flipping the pages it was very hard for me to understand the abstract vedic hymns and also their interpretations it was much more difficult than learning abstract mathematical analysis for me so i mean so i think that i had to read and then understood understand this uh, sarva vedanta siddhanta sarasa graham of uh, shankara in any case my spiritual inclination took shape in those days during my uh, pre degree days and i feel that uh, to some extent i sustained the spiritual leanings by reading books by spiritual souls and also listening to spiritual discourses whenever i get a chance i got opportunity to listen to the discourses by swami chinmayananda when i was in bombay and also j krishna jiddu krishna murthy uh, sudhananda uh, he came a few years ago in iit madras dayananda sarasudhi swami bhumananda tirtha and many lectures arranged by vse at iitm for the last 15 years most of my spiritual thoughts were contained in some of my poems that i used to write in those days now i do not write poems but write some notes specifically after my morning walk so if i am walking alone of course that is a nice time for me to think other than you know uh, non materialistic non even mathematical mathematics of course not materialist so even such days now in this context i would like to read a few uh, paragraph which i wrote once on happiness because the today's uh, uh, theme is uh, happiness so perhaps i don't know it may contain some because i ha- i have i did not have any formal education in vedanta so maybe after listening to sami ji i will see whether this also contains some vedantic uh, principles okay this is happiness in life this i wrote about 7 uh, years ago the whole purpose of life is to have happy life to see near and dear ones to be happy this purpose becomes selfish if one has only that purpose whereas if one can go beyond this extend this purpose to others also then the above purpose becomes unselfish not only that one gets the dividend of being more and more happy but how can the purpose gets fulfilled the whole world is striving to find that something that it can be done by material advancement alone something that it should be done both materially and spiritually and something that it should be done totally spiritually to me the way seem to be to enjoy the life in this material world by being part of it but at the same time not being slave to it to attain this stage one has to look not only what are seen but also unseen not only open our eyes outwardly but also inwardly material facility should be only to the extent that it should increased facilitate our peaceful existence coexistence and happiness results often as a result of the percep- perception that events do not occur the way i want in other words outside world does not react the way i think it should this perception can change once one realizes that i am the one to be changed not others before pointing fingers to others look oneself ask uh, if i am free of errors is right in my opinion is really right and as and when one finds something is wrong in others take that occasion to clean oneself take woe to be devoid of such wrong things in oneself have you decided to be happy so this is the note with this uh, i stop this few words we are all waiting for swami ji's uh, discourse on uh, happiness in the context of vedanta thank you once again to vsc for uh, inviting me to give us few words thank you very much